So today I'm going to be putting together this electronic clock. Let's get going. Hey everyone, Liz here with a voiceover. I decided that I wanted to improve my soldering skills. I come from a background that's more programming and robotics. And this year, one of my biggest goals is to become better at surface mount soldering and just soldering in general. So this project I decided to do, I picked up a soldering clock kit. You can find this on Amazon or anywhere that sells electronics and circuit boards. Basically all of the components came to me in a little kit and all I needed to do was solder them to this circuit board. So you're looking at me soldering right now. You can see my work set up. I bought a brand new soldering iron um, using some different types of solder, using some different materials here. And I just wanted to show you that it really isn't that difficult to solder. I, I did know how to solder prior to this, but it wasn't something that I practiced on a regular basis. You'll notice that no, I'm not practicing like the you know professional way of soldering, using, putting together components and eventually getting to that point where I'm making my own custom circuit boards. And so I wanted to kind of uh, document this process, show you my setup, and if you have any tips for me or any suggestions on what I should solder next to improve my skills, please leave a comment below. I'm, I'm still learning with this. You guys are gonna learn alongside of me. Um, you think you know what you're doing until you actually do it, and that's why I think that it's really critical to have some hands-on projects and build something cool. I mean, this clock can definitely be used. I'm going to be getting some batteries and potentially a uh, wall outlet so that I can use this clock in my lab. I'll just have it hanging up and I can look over and I can see what time it is. I believe there's a stopwatch built into it. It has like a countdown timer. I mean, it's definitely a useful thing to make. So when you're picking out projects to work on, definitely consider what you can do with the project when you're done with it. It doesn't necessarily need to be this fancy a device, but if it does have a purpose, that makes it all the better, right? So you can see that I finished up the circuit board here. Um, I fast forward 20 times the speed so that you wouldn't have to sit through 20 minutes of me soldering. And now I'm showing you how I'm powering this because I do not have a battery that is within the 3.3 to 5.5 volts. So I'm just running a 5 volt signal off the Arduino. It's not controlled by the Arduino, it's just powered by it. And then what I'll do is I'll flip on the switch from the battery pack and you can see that I've got some power here. Everything looks good. All the solder joints look pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this clock. And that's it. You can see that this project went really smoothly. If you like videos like this and you want to see me solder more projects or if you have questions about soldering or getting started with electronics, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to my new content. I'm going to be pushing out videos, you know, every few weeks. Definitely check out my blog. It's on learnrobotics.org blog. And this has been Liz from Learn Robotics. See you in the next video.